Dr. Jaffer. My full name is Dr. Rashiduddin Jaffer and my kunyat is Abu Shoaib. We are of Arab descent and I am the descendant of the second Khalif, Hazrat Umar Farooq. I am a cardiologist and an internist. I came to this country in 1972, finished my three years of residency at Jamaica Hospital and from there I went to Cornell for two years of cardiology training and I got the fellowship there. Since that I have been practicing in Baldwin and I practice both cardiology and internal medicine since 1978. I was attached to four hospitals. I was the like civil surgeon in those four hospitals, Mercy Hospital, South Nassau Hospital, North Shore and Franklin General Hospital. Being too busy, I resigned from two of them and at this time I am at Mercy Hospital and South Nassau Hospital. I have seen thousands and thousands of patients and I have saved thousands and thousands of patients from different diseases including the heart diseases. I have been invited by this particular TV to come and talk about health issues in Ramadan. Ramadan and Rosa is a blessing for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It was prescribed before us for future for, for future generation and some of them are not fasting but we continue this by the blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and by the commandment of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In previously they don't used to do sahri but Allah has been very kind to us and in our religion sahri is allowed. We eat during early hours of morning which is called sahar and we continue fasting till sunset which is the time for iftar. During this time we make lot of sacrifices, we don't eat, we don't drink and we don't indulge in sexual activities. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that when a Muslim has Rosa, he does it only for my sake and I am the one who will reward him for that. Remember Allah does not get anything by your fasting or by your thirst. It is for our training and for us to have the feeling of what poverty and hunger is. And this gives us a lesson to be good to people who are hungry and who are not having all those facilities that we have. We are supposed to feed them, give them drink and give them money and as much help in the form of money as possible and make them happy. This is a blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those who are sick or ill, they don't have to have fast but they can complete it later. Same way women during their periods, they cannot have rosa they can complete it later. Those who are completely invalid and diseased and cannot have rosa, Allah has given them a chance to give food to the poor people, at least one for each rosa. That way we can help the community. It's a blessing for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It comes for one month in a year and every Muslim men or women are supposed to have Rosa and make Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his apostle Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam happy. And remember nothing goes to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It helps us in getting a better position in Jannah. Remember there are a lot of benefits about Rosa. It's good for people who have diabetes their blood sugar will be under control. They are not supposed to 
take too much of sweet either in the sahar or the iftar. As long as they follow their diet, it is very good for diabetes. It's also very good for people who have heart diseases and it gives good control on cholesterol and the triglycerides. I recommend that every Muslim who is able to fast should fast for these 30 days. And at the end of 30 days, we celebrate in the form of Eid al-Fitr, where we go to Eidgah and pray with the whole community and give blessings and presents to everyone present there. Thank you. ITV, Call of Peace, Save Humanity.